Yes, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, a very good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode on the Life Signatures Radio. What a show, what a series we are on. We started this about four days ago and we're going to continue talking about that. But before I can tell you about that, this is a daily show. This is a daily show on the subjects of purpose, productivity and resilience. If you're looking for motivation, inspiration, if you're looking for mentoring, coaching online, a virtual incubator for all all that stuff this is the show for it talking about purpose talking about productivity and talking about resilience and over the past four days or so we have been discussing the idea of infusing spirit in our craft the importance of spirit in our craft why is this important you have seen you've experienced two kinds of experiences with the same service Someone did something that just blew your mind off and someone just did the average. One of them tapped into the spirit and the other they didn't. And that's why we are discussing this and how important it is. So stay tuned for more. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. It's been quite a journey even as we have started and uh, even as we're con- going to continue talking about this. Talking about spirit, including spirit in our craft. Someone asked, what is spirit? It is the reason behind, the real reason behind what you do. It is a spiritual thing. That's why I keep saying and I'll keep saying. Most organizations, if not all organizations, they are spiritual organizations. Apple is not just a technology company. It's a spirit company. It's a spiritual company. Why? Because there's a reason behind what they're doing. What is the vision of Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola, I think we are told that their vision is a cock at an arm's length across the world. That's their vision. And for the most part, they have done a stellar job to accomplish that. But why would they do that? That's the question. Why are they doing that? Now, that's where I get the difference. That's where you find why, where the spirit lies. The reason behind the thing is always the spirit behind it. The reason behind stellar performances is the spirit the reason behind mediocre performances is lack of the spirit so if you wanted to find out what is the spirit what are you talking about just ask yourself why so in your craft as a writer why are you writing if you can clarify that you get into tapping the spirit behind what you're, what, what you're doing now I'm going to take a bit of time going forward and start identifying for you, starting today, some of the signs that will show you that there is no spirit either in your craft or in your organization. Because matters related to the spirit, again, like we said yesterday, they are not matters of, you know, 
verbiage, words. They are not matters of proclamations. That's the word I was looking for. It was eluding me. No. Matters related to the spirit are things people feel. People see. People hear. People see beyond the surface and they say there's something different here. When someone says there's something different here, they are talking about the reason behind the thing. And spirit normally shapes very many things. Now, for you or for your organization, what are some of the things that will show you that ah, over here there ain't no spirit? Now, the first one is the most obvious of them all. Lack of passion. Passion is a force, Miles Monroe will say, is a force greater than death. Passion. Where does passion come from? There's got to be a way we're going to balance between passion and profits and so on. Can someone say, I am passionate about profits? No. <laughs> like I said, when we were beginning this series, when I say I am passionate about football, I'd better be a footballer or a coach or an owner of a football club. I've got to be the producer of the passion, not the consumer of it. That's the passion we're talking about. So where there is no passion, there is no attachment to spirit, either in the organization or in the, in the, in the craft that is being done. You can go and get a haircut. There's a guy I'll never forget. This is years back, maybe 15 years back, if I get my facts correct. This guy, I have not met I have not met a hairdresser like this one. This guy knew his stuff and he he worked on you with absolute passion. And I was such a young guy as I was so disconnected to identification of passion and identification of finesse and looking to create value. And this, this is a story. Because this guy did not have his own barber shop. He was employed by someone. And I'm looking back in reflection because just before he left, he told me, I was a stranger to this guy. Honestly, I was a stranger in a new country and I was just, I just chanced upon that particular place. He told me I'll be leaving the next couple of weeks. Probably he was telling me that place is going to be closed. Or maybe he was just hinting to me that maybe he looked at me maybe with car keys and thinking this guy can, can help. But I didn't connect. But let me tell you this. There was no question about the passion he was doing his craft with. I still remember that guy. I have never met a hairdresser that does what that guy did on my head. With that clipper. Never. So when there is no passion in someone's craft, then you see that the craft itself or the organization itself doesn't have spirit. There is such a thing as a spirit in an organization. And as a leader, it becomes very imperative for you to find ways. There are very many ways you guys normally do. We are going to measure the culture of the organization. We are going to do performance management tests. You know, We are going to, to try and see if, if people are pulling together. One of the things that you need to find to crack, and actually I should do this and charge you top dollar, it is the spirit, the connection to the spirit of the organization. And you're going to see that as obviously as passion is found. When there is no passion. Now, l let me say this. 
when we're talking about the passion of of course we already said it's the production not the not the consumption but don't be fooled at some point in time when you go to an organization and someone has, is going through a, a, a rough time and you can actually judge them and you say that they don't have passion no the the, the passion i'm talking about has got to be an end to end like we talked about this yesterday it's got to be a continuous kind of a thing if you draw a line of best fit you can always see passion in that guy when there is no passion several things are in place my friends number one they are in the wrong place they don't want to be there in the first place the only thing that is making them to come there is to draw a salary at the end of the week or at the end of the month that's why they're there they're there for wages not for production number two this is where human resource services come in they might be overwhelmed by what they're doing as in your workload is just too much Number three, there might be a miscommunication of vision in that you're giving this guy, they are all over the place. They are good. They are passionate. But you've watered down that passion where they are all over the place. There is no single direction. They are not, they're not looking back and saying, they're seeing that this is the fruits of my labor. Because passion also has got to generate something. When passion doesn't generate something at work, people feel disconnected to the spirit. And in- inevitably, they start looking in their spirits. They start looking for elsewhere. Where can I go that I can channel my passion? And so if you are not, if they are in the wrong place, they will not show passion. Which means that they are not in the in the spirit connected to the spirit. If they are overworked again, it's good, the spirit level is going to wear down. And if there is no direction, if they are all over the place, even if they are passionate, and there is no food to, to to show of what they have done, that a week has gone and they have not completed a project. It's going to be a problem there. But at the bottom line, at the end of the day, what are we saying? We are saying. If you wanted to find out that there is no craft, sorry, if you wanted to find out that there is no spirit in your craft, the things you're doing, or in the organization that you're leading, you will see lack of passion. Lack of passion towards what? Lack of passion towards the value you are adding and the problems you're solving and the, and the solutions you're bringing and the impact you're making. Lack of passion towards that. Let me tell you, if there is a critical mass, my friends, if there is a critical mass of lack of passion in any institution, in any organization, it is dead. And woe to us who are being led by governments where two-thirds of the government, they have absolutely no passion for the country, no passion for anything in the country but only a passion for themselves. What happens? There is no prosperity in that country. If you look at any country that has prospered, you will always draw passion. You will always see passion. Singapore, Malaysia, these are very ex- excellent examples because we are told in the 1960s when Africa was gaining independence, these guys were on the same level in terms of GDP. Today, these guys are first world countries. And if you look, there was a change in leadership and the leadership that came in exuded passion. And that passion was connected to spirit. That's why they made the changes that they they did. And I see America trying to mess around with their spirit. Right now, America is unrecognizable. They're messing around with the spirit of America. And I don't need to be a prophet to tell you that these guys are going down. There is no prophecy for America in the Bible. But I will tell you what Swahilis normally say. Kikulacho kinguoni mwako. Means what eats you up is already inside your cloth. And they are eating themselves up. How? By not having passion for their country and not connecting to the spirit of America. Well, I'm going to stop there for today. Tomorrow I'm going to look at another way you can see that there is no passion in your craft or in your organization. Until then, bye. 
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.